hi dear friends welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to control your phone remotely actually sometimes we can see that we have multiple phone in our hand right and that time we left one phone in our home and that time we need to control our that phone remotely because we do lots of work or we do business and that time we need to control our that phone remotely so if you really want to learn how to control your phone remotely then please watch full video carefully because in this video i'm going to show you the easiest process for controlling your phone remotely so before starting the process i'll ask you something that please subscribe my channel and give also like this video so let's start so first of all let me show you this is my second phone and this is my first phone okay so i can control this phone throughout this phone let me show you you can see i can go anywhere let me open some application suppose i can open chrome browser from there and i can open facebook whatsapp everything i can open from my this phone to this phone and i can solve any kinds of problem from this phone to this phone okay so let me show you the process how can you actually do that so for doing that you need to do something in your second phone so let me show you the process so in your second phone you need to go to play store and sorry first of all let me disconnect this phone so let me disconnect it so i assume that this is my second phone and this is my first phone okay so in my second phone let me do something so in my second phone i need to go to play store and after that just download airdroid application you need to download this airdroid application in your second phone so after doing that just you need to click here open option and wait for a few seconds guys if you are in hurry then this video is not for you because there are something you need to do carefully okay so after that just click here signing and then if you don't have any airdroid application then you need to click here sign up option and just put your valid email address and then pick up any password okay then click here sign up and after that you have a airdroid account okay so i have already airdroid account so let me sign in so let me put my password so after giving your airdroid uh, account then just click here sign in option and wait for a few seconds then you need to click here continue then click here allow access then get back from here then click here no restriction then click here ok and there are something this part is very important because if you skip this part that time maybe this process won't be work in your phone so do not skip this part ok so you need to do something in here so first of all let me click here camera option and then click here grant permission then then click here continue then click here airdroid then allow over other apps just get back from here and then on audio just turn it on then while using the app click on it then get back from here and then click here screen mirroring and after that click here grant permission then wait for a few seconds then click here still enable then there are something due to system limitation device with android 10 or above system cannot skip the pop-up dialog so there is no worry i will solve this problem also so just click here got it then click here on i audio then get back from here and you can see there are some caution i mean this process uh, didn't complete so no worry just follow my process i will solve this problem also so right now click here remote control then click here enable remote control then again wait for 10 seconds then click here still enable then this part is very important just download and install another software so just click on it then click here download option and 
you need to install this one airdroid control add-on okay you need to install this extra software also otherwise your screen mirroring will not work so after that just get back from here again get back from here then click here grant permission then click here settings then click here ok and in my mi phone i need to go to download apps and then i need to uh, turn these settings on airdroid just turn it on and wait for a few seconds just check this option i am aware of this possible risk there is no worry and after that just click here ok option then get back from here again get back from here then click here done option and your skin mirroring problem just solved okay so you need to do these settings carefully so after that just click here desktop notification then grant permission then click here airdrop then allow notification access then again check this option i am aware of this possible risk and after that just click here ok option then get back from here again and again get back from here then click here message option for controlling your message just click here grant permission and again wait for 10 seconds then click here still enable then allow again and after that if you want to manage your contacts then click here contacts option then grant permission and again wait for 10 seconds then still enable then allow again then uh, find location i mean you can find out this phone location throughout your other phone so just click here find location then turn these settings on location then ok then while using the apps then allow all the time just click on it then get back from here then click allow then grant permission then activate this device admin app if you activate this option that time you cannot uninstall or you cannot delete this airdroid application okay if you want to uninstall this airdroid application first you need to deactivate this admin apps okay so let me click here activate this device admin app then click here i am aware and wait for a few seconds then click here ok and your your device is now protected just get back from here and check these settings again okay everything is green i mean is already turned on so now get back from here and you need to uh, to provide better experience please enable notification permission uh, in your device just click here allow then again allow and after that you need to uh, see in here okay this is your gmail i mean which gmail you created your airdroid account okay so now click here settings option and you can see in here device name just click here and you can give here your any kinds of name so i just choose my phone then get back from here and which is uh, another is connection alerts so you can turn this uh, connection alert if you want to use this feature that time you need to use uh, i mean upgrade your package to premium account okay in free account you couldn't turn this system alert uh, i mean you couldn't turn this option off okay so just get back from here and after doing all these things in your this secondary phone just you need to come to your first phone okay so let me come my first phone and you need to go to play store in here first and then you need to download another software which is ER mirror let me show you this one ER mirror just you need to install this application ER mirror and in your first phone which will be ER droid okay let me show you this one ER droid in your first phone you need to install ER droid and in your second phone you need to install ER mirror okay so after that just you need to click here open option and again wait for a few seconds then click here sign in 
and you need to use that same gmail account okay let me show you you can see there is my address account this email address okay so i need to use the same email address in here and password so let me do it so after that just click here sign in then click here settings then allow and let me show you just you can see in here my phone it's already available so let me click on it my phone and there are three things which is control camera screen mirroring okay so let me first click here camera option you can use this phone camera okay so let me click here continue and you can see i i can use this phone camera okay so for exiting it just click here this option and let me show you another feature which is skin mirroring okay skin mirroring and in later i will discuss about control so let me click here skin mirroring and you can see recent request just click here recent request and there is no pop-ups available which will be very easy okay so let me show you this is the screen mirroring you can mirror everything from this phone to this phone okay so just exit here and the third one will be control this is very important you can control everything from this phone to this phone just get back from here and you can go anywhere so let me go to my settings from this phone to this phone you can change any settings or you can solve any settings from there i mean full control okay you can see this is very much easy you can control every single thing you can control any application from this phone to this phone so let me exit this option and let me go to my this android application and there is something you can only get 200 megabyte free so if you want to use more that time you need to buy their premium plan okay so you can buy their premium plan so that you can use this amazing software easily so this is it guys so by this easiest process you can control your phone remotely so thank you so much for watching this video and if you face any kinds of problem then please let me know i'll try my best to help you thanks do comment give like and do subscribe